Happy Tuesday, CMSW. Today we are going to be talking about testing. You may be thinking of math, science, or language arts, but we're talking about the very first test you ever took, the APGAR test. March is Women's History Month, and today we are going to focus on Dr. Virginia APGAR, who changed medical history by developing a way to evaluate the physical condition of newborn babies at birth. In the 1940s, fetal monitors were not yet invented, and babies were given very little attention after birth. Doc Dr. APGAR began to question how best to evaluate newborn infants to improve health and survival rates. In 1952, she created a simple but effective five-point scoring method designed to focus attention on the newborn's vital signs. Performed immediately after delivery, the APGAR score measured an infant's skin color, pulse, reflex, muscle, tone, and respiration, quickly indicating whether the newborn needs immediate attention to stay alive. Each of these traits is given a score of 0, 1, or 2. The APGAR score was a revolutionary idea because it was the first clinical method to recognize a newborn as a patient, just like its mother. It helped, it, it helped to create the development of the medical field dedicating, dedicated to infants, neonatology. The higher the score, the better the baby is doing after birth. <laughs> a score of five, 7, 8, or 9 is normal and is a sign that the newborn is in good health. <laughs> Dr. Apgar's test is credited with saving millions of babies, and that's our women's history story for today. Moving on. The morning show always makes history with its jokes. What do you call a group of baby soldiers? An infantry. Hey, Maddie, why is there a strange baby in the crib? You told me to change the baby. Duh. Who's bigger? Mr. M Mrs. Bigger or Mr. Bigger or their baby? Their baby, because he's a little bigger. And now for today's music in our school's trivia question from Mr. Songer. <laughs> in a normal year, our country and garbage bands, <laughs> our country <laughs> and garbage bands perform a variety of concerts in community and tour around the Twin Cities and have even done extended out-of-state tours across the Midwest. Many of our former... Country and garage band members have gone on to pursue careers and pro as professional musicians. Our trivia question today is name one current CMSW student who is in the country or garage band. We repeat, name one current CMSW student who is in the country or garage band. Chances, chances you know quite a few. But your guess is in the answer jar in, in the main office or email Mr. Songer for your chance to win prizes. And now for a quick pennies for patients update. Mr. Porthen reports that after just over four days of fundraising, we have raised over $55,000. But we can do more, much more. During the next 48 hours, each West classroom has been given a challenge to raise $250 on dollars online. Check with your advisor now and ask how you can help your advisory meet this challenge. Remember, every penny counts. That's our show for today, CMSW. Have a great day. Bye! Bye.